Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You use the Slide Master in PowerPoint to change the default appearance of slides within your presentation. When you add presentation slides, they are actually formatted according to the Slide Master's specifications. You then select a slide layout to apply to the slides that contain placeholders for the various types of content that you want your slides to contain. Each master can have several associated slide layouts. You can also use more than one slide master within a presentation if desired. You can create and customize your own slide layouts and slide masters within PowerPoint. You can then save these as a custom template for future use. Now to open the slide master view, just click the slide master button that appears in the Master Views group, or the Presentation Views group if you're using 2007, on the View tab within the ribbon, to open and display the Slide Masters and their associated layouts. The Slide Master and its layouts will appear in the Side panel at the left side of the window. The currently selected Slide Layout, or Slide Master in this panel, will then be displayed for editing within the main window. You should also see the new Slide Master tab within the ribbon appear. You can use the commands and buttons found in the groups on this tab to make changes to the Slide Masters and Slide Layouts within your presentation. To insert a new Slide Master if desired, you can click the Insert Slide Master button to insert a new Slide Master with its associated Slide Layouts into your presentation. You can also select a slide master in your presentation and insert a new custom slide layout into it by clicking the Insert Layout button. Now let's examine how you can modify the slide masters and the slide layouts. You can customize your custom slide master or slide layout by first selecting it within your slides panel. Then you can select which of the default placeholders you want to apply by clicking either the Master Layout button in the Master Layout group on the Slide Master tab in the ribbon, and then checking the default placeholders that you want to have appear in your Slide Master. Then click the OK button to apply them to your Slide Master. Or you can click the Insert Placeholder button to insert placeholders into a custom layout that you have selected within the Slide Master. Note you can also check the Title and Footers check boxes in order to add a title or footer information into the selected layout. You can also click the Delete Slide button to remove the slide from the presentation, the Rename to rename a custom slide layout, and you can click the Preserve button that preserves the selected master so that it remains with the presentation even if it's not used. Now in the Edit Theme group, you can actually apply themes to selected slides or slide masters.
You can also use the background button to apply custom backgrounds. In the page setup group, you can use the page setup and slide orientation to set default orientations and setup features for the slides. Now once you've finished customizing slide masters and slide layouts, you can then click the close master view button in the close group on the slide master tab in the ribbon in order to close the slide master view. And here you can see the custom layout that we created for this presentation. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.